Hey guys, it's Tuesday on the Beaver Bunch. And no, I'm not Lori, unless you somehow think I'm Lori. She called me today. She was running late for work and couldn't make a video. So I'll be Lori today, but with my thoughts, if that makes any sense. So this week's topic, Kate actually picked it out. It's about self-respect and self-love and just, you know, how to how to show it and how to own it and how to have it. Um, I really don't talk about too much personal stuff, like personal experiences that, I, that I've had, like, in depth um, as far as self-love and self-respect. But I'll kind of dabble in a past experience with you. Um, I've been in relationships before where the girl hasn't necessarily treated me awesome. I've been in a relationship where it was really bad to the point where she was hitting me and just not treating me like a, a person should be treated. And I'm like thinking to myself, no, she she loves me. So this this is going to be okay. And I would talk to myself and be like, no, AJ, no self-respecting person would stand for this. And my friends were like, what are you doing? Like, why are you with her? She's hitting you. She's scratching you. And I'm like, but it's going to be okay because we're going to make it work, blah, blah, blah. And to, to be honest with you guys, I, I am not in this relationship anymore. And reflecting back on it and thinking about what my friends were saying and, and having their point of view, because when you're the person who's in an abusive relationship, you're like, no, we're going to work it out. It's going to get better. Um, I lost so much self-respect in that relationship. I was bringing myself down to this level where I was like, this is what I'm worth. I'm worth getting hit. I'm worth getting talked to in a bad way. But now that I'm out of that craziness, I realize that I am worth so much more and I am so much more confident and so much more happier that I've taken and decided to take myself out of that terrible relationship that I was in and put myself into a better one. So I guess what I'm saying is, is that we get a lot of emails from you guys that are like, I'm with this girl and she, she tells me I'm fat all the time, but I love her. Or I'm with this girl and she, she, you know, she calls me names or she hits me. It's like, honestly, you guys, I have been there before. And I had thought to myself, I'll never be that person, but I was. I'm not saying I was like a victim, but I lost my self-respect and appreciation for what a great person I am. And I know I'm a good person. So if any of that is happening to you right now where you're like in a relationship and it's not that good because of the other person bringing you down, calling you names, if they're physically hitting you, stop for a second Think about how awesome you are and what you have to give back to the world outside of this tyrant that's like bringing you down. You're so much better than that. And I needed to remember that. And I know every week I come on here and I give you a good video and it looks like everything in my life is perfect and wonderful. This relationship that I had happened through the time we've been doing the Beaver Bunch. So you would probably never know that any of that was going on based on how I portray myself on the YouTubes. And I'm thinking about that, like, Ellen goes on TV every day and, like, is happy and funny. And I'm like, does she ever fight with Portia? Does Ellen ever have cramps? Like, does she ever have a bad day? We do. So from that, I, I've learned to, like, that relationship, I mean. I, I walk with my head high now and I'm like, fuck this. If a girl wants to treat me like that, Fuck them, because I know what I'm worth. I'm funny, I like to think I'm cute, you know, and I wish we could all have that confidence instilled in us. And I, I want you to take from this video today and think about that and think about what you're worth. You're smart, you're funny, you're really good at video games, whatever it is. You could play a Sudoku puzzle, you're good at Scrabble, whatever it is. Think about that, reflect on it, and remember what you're worth. Because sometimes we get so caught up on all the bad that's happening, either at our work, in a relationship, with our parents. Just sit there and think, I'm worth something, and I'm going to be amazing for somebody in the future. I'm going to do great things with my life. You guys, I've been there before. I've been be beat in, scratched, broken, and I'm still 
happy and I'm good in my life. So if that's not a little pep talk for whatever self-love is for you guys and I'm divulging a little bit of my personal life for you, just so you know, my life isn't as perfect as it might seem on here. I hope I helped just one of you guys realize that if it's bad now, you can make the change and make it better. Because even I get cramps. Just like Ellen, I know she does. Ellen, if you're watching, I know you're not always that happy. But I know Portia probably doesn't hit you. Anyway, that's my Tuesday video for you. Have a great Tuesday. I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.